Hello guys, welcome once again. In the video number 49, I have shown you how to use J file chooser like this. And when you choose any file, the file path, the absolute file path will be copied into your text field. Today we are going to learn how to save this path into the table and then by clicking your table how to open the same path so in this way you can learn how to manage your documents in a table so let's get started first of all what I have done in addition to attach button and text field I have made one table which in which we will save the document path and different comments I also taken one text field for comments so which type of document is this we will write a comment in this text field and the number what is the serial number of the document I will enter it here so I will name my text field as CO comment and here I will name my text field as doc number okay in addition I also dragged a button to save the document in the table so in all I made these three text field this is for path so I will name it as path so I have done that already plus in my database I have made one table called document table and I made three columns document ID comment and path in my database so I have three columns in my database and my table name or database table name is document table so you can just do that you know how to do that in my previous tutorials I have already told you now we will write the code to save your document go to right click your save document button go to event action and action performed and here I already made my try catch blog in order to save time and also when I save document I have already made this comment that document is saved document saved now I will write the code for inserting or saving my document path S3 I in the string SQL is equal to and inside this double quotes right insert into your table da database table name submit database table name is document table write it here and then in the bracket write the three column name document ID comment and path so I have written document ID comment and path and then write values and in the brackets we have to make four question marks as always we do for saving only three I think for three columns and then you have to write PST as always dot con sorry PST is equal to con dot prepared statement and here only inside prepared statement only sq 
SQL and then write PST dot set string and here my first column name first this here I'm taking the value from first column for first column so just go to your design tab and just copy your variable name of the path text field so copy my text field name is path so I copy here dot get text okay you have to do that and for comment and ID also do the same so I have already uh, done that and here numbering this numbering is very important so our first column is document ID so our document ID we are taking in this text field get text so this is first and then comments this is our second and this is our third because of the path this is fourth path here one two three one two three okay then after that write pst dot execute like this and after you save your table your table must be refreshed instantaneously so I have made the code for that already you can you know how to make it and just I copy after my try catch for refreshing the table so now let's try to run the program so my program is here for example I will copy some path uh, let's see what I want to open so I want to open this my path is copied here I will give it a name or comment P. so it's a picture so I name it as picture and here I'll give the document number and when I save the button so when I click the save button document is saved here your document is saved you can see one picture comment and here is your path now I will show you how to open this document by clicking in the table so cancel it and go to your design code so click your table right click event and event mouse and mouse clicked and you go to mouse clicked event here and if you remember in the 23rd video if you don't remember in the 23rd video I have shown you how to open a document if you have its path so if you don't know how to open the document by clicking a button or uh, anywhere in the table just go and see that video so I am what I am doing I am just copying my code from my 23rd video and I am pasting it in my mouse click event so like this right click event mouse mouse click and I am just pasting it here so go and see the 23rd video if you don't know this code now what you have to do is you have to write int 
row because we are taking the row from the table and whatever go to your table and whatever is your table name my table name is I will rename it at doc doc table document table I will copy my variable name and row is equal to int row is equal to document table dot get selected row this one you just write this code and after that string any variable name value for example is equal to write in the bracket write your table name my table name is document table dot get model dot get value at and here you have to give the row number so my is because I am taking the path from my third or my second column because in the database I have my path saved in 0 1 2 0 1 2 second column so you write 2 here because I am taking path from second column dot to string so this is your value and what you have to do after that is just copy your value from string and whatever is your path just instead of path which we have written in the 23rd video instead of path just copy the value string variable this string variable I have pasted here instead of path because from I am taking the path from the table in the variable value and then I am just pasting my path here so indirectly I'm just uh, I will open the path so now I will try to run my program no some error is there so let's see what is the error there's some error here so now I will try to run the program and this is my input and when I click this row I must open my document so I clicked and my document is open so you can see by just clicking in the table you open your document like this so it's not a big code you have to write in the table click event this code so i hope you have learned something new today and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now